Hello friends, we are going to start a new tutorial series that is SQLize tutorial series, right? So what is SQLize and why we need these and what is the advantage of these things? I will explain you these things, right? So first things why I started SQLize tutorial actually few days back I just completed the Node.js tutorial, right? So actually when you are going to create your application with Node.js with Express.js that time SQLize will help to connect with your database, right? So actually SQLize is a modern TypeScript and promise based Node.js ORM it can be accessible with a mysql it can be accessible with postgres mariadb sqlite sql servers and many more so right uh, like uh, snowflake data clouds amazon redshift right there are lots of things you can access so actually this is the ORM concept and when you are going to query your database you actually don't need to write the direct sql and uh, write a less code and you will get the good output so what is actually ORM right so ORM is actually the object relations mapping or model you can say anything object object relation model right actually it is the technique of accessing a relational database using an object oriented programming right so here you can see inside the image there is a notice application and there is a MySQL application so both are connecting through the object and these are actually working with SQLize. So SQLize is working as a mediocre which actually getting the data from MySQL and passing data to Node.js and Node.js actually directly requesting the SQLize, right? So you can get the MySQL data through the SQLize in Node.js, right? So ORM is a way for a JavaScript program to manage database data by mapping database tables to classes and instance of classes to rows in those table right so we'll discuss in deep when you go inside this tutorial so let's see what is the advantage why we actually use uh, sqlize okay so the advantage of sql is very simple write less code so SQLite allow us to write a less code. So we'll write a less code and we'll get a better output. The next point is more consistent code. So actually what is consistent code? Actually for a, a defined defined tables, we'll create different models and we can uh, relate our uh, models or we can relate our tables with uh, the Node.js easily, right? So I will discuss when we start our application and the most important thing so if you are background from front end developer and you don't have enough knowledge in sql queries you don't need to think about that things so actually mostly we can avoid sql queries we need some basic concepts how actually sql works but we don't need to write the raw sql queries like back end developer right so as a front end developer you have a good opportunity to grab these things okay and it's abstract the database engine right and another important thing is the migration tool right so actually uh, sqlize have a good tooling for migrations means you can define your uh, database structure into your model and just using sqlize sync you can migrate your data or you can migrate your tables into database easily right so we will discuss about these things in our upcoming video actually this is the introduction video so next day we will going to uh, implement the sqlize tutorial and we will know more about sqlize so next day we will install the uh, sqlize into our application and we will install all the related dependencies related to uh, sqlize and we will uh, show what is the model definition model instance and how to insert data into the database and we'll create a simple crude application for basic understanding so when we know about the basic things how to insert update delete then we'll create a simple crude application to brush up all the things and we'll next move to some advanced topic like uh, we'll um, uh, use the data setter we'll use the validation so we'll learn about how to run the raw queries also sometimes if you need you can run raw queries this is the another features so and inside your database there may have different type of relations like one to one relation one to many many to many relation so all we can achieve through the sqlize so we'll learn about that things how we can do this 
Also, we will learn about how to migrate, how to use hooks, how to use cedars. So, all we will learn in this series. So, you will get a complete concept and you can create your own application, right? So, hope this series will be interesting and uh, please keep in touch and please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video. Thanks for watching this video. Have a good day.